Hi everybody, it's Jackie schomburg Minen. I wanted to show you guys today an exercise that I've used to make a black and white composition using pops of color. So at the end of this, most of what you will see will be black and white. Currently I'm using some greens. This is a celadon color I'm putting on now. It's kind of a neutral green. Just making some pencil marks, just trying to warm up the canvas a little bit, or the paper in this instance. And I'm using a gift card there to spread that white around. Oh, sorry, I'm not. I'm using my catalyst wedge there to spread the white around. Most of the time I don't have a clear picture of what I want something to look like when I begin. This is the same as true here, although I, I did want to focus on what it would be like to end up with mostly black and white and just some pops of color. This is a transparent green gold. So I was experimenting with how much color should I put down to make sure that I have something peeking through but not too much peeking through so that it would still be predominantly black and white. So with each layer I add, there's still more richness in the background, even when things get covered up, because they're rarely ever fully covered up. Something shines through. It was fun to use this color palette too because it's not my regular color palette. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know I usually use bright red somewhere or some warmer oranges or dark blues. Keeping the palette down to black and white and shades of green was helpful for me to keep it simple so that I could focus really on the white and black portions. So my goal was to keep it simple, but also to have some detail. So I used the white and black crayons to make some marks. I'm 
the mark making serves many purposes, but in this case, just to kind of move your eye around the, the paper. Here I'm using a transparent black. Just to provide variety against the regular carbon black. It's also fun to play with shades of dark colors, using the black more often. I used way more black in this series than I did in any other series, I think, that I've done any videos on, at least. It was fun to have a dark palette and still keep it interesting. It's one of my favorite tools. It's a small brush taped to a twig and holding onto the base of the twig. You can see that my brush is not in the best shape, but that's why it makes such interesting marks. I'm pretty hard on my brushes. provides a nice balance. The crayon marks are very precise and they'll go wherever I move my hand to move the crayon. And these are just the opposite. They're very imprecise, but there's some freedom in that that I find intriguing. So at the end of this, I will be cutting them into four pieces as painting starts. And I'll leave you guys to decide if they're finished or if they need more detail. So many times, it's really just a matter of taste. Some people might think they're done. Some people might think they need more. When you're the artist, you get to decide whatever way you want to go. I haven't worked on them anymore yet, but I, that may change. So there we go. Comment below, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like this exercise? Have you done it before? What's your favorite color to use with black and white? I'd love to know. Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da! -ba